love hopefuls and i have a little small haul here from hobby lobby and also from tuesday morning and i only picked up a few items from hobby lobby i was out that way because hobby lobby is not close to my house and so um this was the raleigh store so i stopped by there actually i was looking for the sticker book and they did not have it um that the me and my big ideas has and it's like $14.99 so it looks like i'm gonna have to pay a regular price and not use a 40 percent off because off their website because i can never get my hands on it so first of all i have been wanting the rose gold sticker book for a while now it is $4.99 and i finally picked it up i used a few stickers out of here by the time this uploads you guys can i will just link that video above and below of the new plan with me video i haven't done one of those in a really long time where i use rose gold washi tape and also some of these stickers i also wanted this for a really long time this is the pocket cards for the mini happy planner and i don't even have the big one but i have pockets because it i got it with a swap or was it I think it was the um, Christmas swap that they have on the Facebook group. But I had the pockets for the big one, but not the cards. And I finally picked up the cards. And I just wanted some positive affirmations. Of course, you can use journaling cards and so forth. But I just wanted these. These stickers were on sale. The Paper Studio Stickabilities. And, okay, someone's always ringing the doorbell. It's, it is summertime around here. So I picked up two of these. They were only a dollar or 99 cents because they were 50% off. So this is the um, month of the year and I wanted to use this for a project. Also, I just went ahead and picked up the numbers as well, the stickabilities. And you get two sheets of these, I believe. Yeah, and then that one that says dates to remember. So yeah, that is all I picked up from Hobby Lobby. There is a sign that I want, but the wood was not on sale last week and the metal wasn't on sale. So it was some things that I wanted for the kitchen and something for JJ's room. So this is what I picked up from Tuesday morning. I hope this is everything. For some reason, I think this is not everything and I apologize in advance. <laughs> so... Um, I did go in there. I called the product number line like I always. I knew I was just going to go to that one because it was in the same shopping center where we were getting our eyeglasses that day. And they, I was disappointed because the product line said they had it. So I'm, I knew that might mean it was on the truck. So I was getting ready. I was one second from leaving, really, guys, because I said, well, maybe I just don't need to spend money today. And the lady come out, came out with the car and she said, feel free to look through it. And I was like, sure. And I found all these dies. So anyway, I found this sticker that said Rooted in Christ. And it's a 3D sticker and it is so cute, for especially for um, scrapbooking or so unique. I like it. It's really pretty. It has glitter. So really pretty for a dollar, 99 cents. And then this one, it says, God makes all things grow. I was going to say possible, which he does. So here's the product number for that. And then also I picked up the snapshots um, as well. And this one is, I saw Dare to be Creative. Um, Dawn, what she posted on her Instagram. Yeah, on her Instagram. Not sure if Kendra did. She, I'm sure she did. So here is the product number for... this one and it looks like this and I forgot I'm boiling eggs for tuna fish so I was like what in the world is that noise and it has some frames here and this one is like a Florida thing beautiful Florida and they have one in here with an alligator on it and I see if you can see that I was like who wants that not me so, um, but it's in that kit. So also here's the product number for this one. And um, this mix card pack, and this one is Road Trip. And this one says, let's go. And it's like some transparent sheets. And then it's like some 
see-through stencil-like sheets and then some like journaling cards. Our Great Adventure. And that's what they look like on the back. The overlays, the cards, and the die cuts. And then this one, it was one that had a winery. I didn't get it because we're not wine drinkers. Um, we did a taste test in that bit more and that was fun. But if you live near a winery, that'd be fun to pick up. Or good to pick up. This one is, does it say? It don't say. But if you're going to the Grand Canyon or something like that, it'll be fun. I probably shouldn't have picked this one up. But that's what it looks like. Going on a real road trip. But it's good to keep. Because you know you may need it for your kid's project or something. And then they also had one that had New York. And I should have got it. Because my mother-in-law, my husband's family is from New York. And um, she has been saying for a long time she was going to take me up there. Because I've never been. So this one is the beach one. I probably should have picked up two of these. They also had some stencils. They were Christmas light stencils. You guys probably seen them on Instagram floating around. With some stamps. A snowman, a reindeer, Santa Claus, a bunch of them. But I didn't want to get those. And then the last snapshot that I got. I didn't get everything. Was this Florida. Oh, I am missing something. A paper pack. That's what it is. A big old paper pad because the lady was like well if you don't get it it might be gone and I was like I know so I was happy to pick up some dies I never found the 99 cents dies the closest ones to me if you're in the area you kind of know was Alberdeen and Alberdeen is two hours away from me or something so I don't know what's up with that so here is the um product number for this one and this one is the lounge around and that's what it looks like like the little chair has a little table and what is this a pick um a flower arrangement oh it says on the back table vase and flowers and then this one is a cake they had a cat and a dog, but I left that one there. It's like it was another one I left there. But I didn't ever find the butterfly one. So this one's really neat. And I told myself, Hope, um, I wanted to expand my die cut collection. But I was like, Hope, do you really need to do that? Because you have a silhouette. So I really need to um, buckle down and figure out how to use that thing like a pro. Because I can do it. I just need the time. This is cute this frame and it comes with three different frames this one too here's the product number and that's what it looks like with a card and this one's called all wrapped up and then this lastly this one is fancy label tags I like this one a lot. Here's the product number. And I'm going to try to take a break, guys. I don't need to watch our videos. We're going to Tuesday morning. Um, really, with all the craft stores, I'm going to try. I'm going to try, try, try. Let me show you the paper pack. I'm going to try my best um, to stay out of, the, out of the craft store. Especially after I post on my Insta stories. Um... All my stuff I needed to take from down here to upstairs and stuff that I needed to put it away that I just didn't have time. And I was like, oh, it was like shopping all over again. But there is one thing that is a little pricey that I've been eyeing for probably a couple of months. And I may get that and I'm going to try my best to stay out the craft store. <laughs> but I'll share with you guys if I get it. Okay, so this is the American Crafts book. It has 180 papers in it and I will try to flip through them really fast yeah um, it doesn't look like it's the best oh I didn't open this yet it doesn't look like the best of quality paper but it's a lot of different types of paper for the price okay so the noise has begun because Josiah 
little buddy JJ went outside. Trail's supposed to be watching him. But let me do a really quick flip through of this. My this store that I went in, I know they only had two because that's all that was in the buggy at the time. Let's flip. Really cute. It's not double sided, so and it's thin, but lots of paper for the price. This one's really faint. One stripe. Oh, this one's cute with the cameras. You guys can see that. Oh, the wood grain. I don't know why I'm in love with wood grain lately. The grain. So this one is like so thin that I don't know if you want to actually put it. You may want to back it with something more sturdy. If you're doing a scrapbook layout or use this to, I don't know, outline something and use a better, thicker paper. Certainly something you can give to your kids if they got a project to do or they just want to cut. Well, they ain't just going to be cutting my paper, but you know what I mean. If they have a project or something. So this is a huge pad. I thought for seven. $99. They did have um, some of the Heidi Swap, I believe, that I thought about getting for my boys. It was more boyish, more masculine um, wall art that you can put in frames, but I didn't get it. I probably should have got it. Yeah, I could have put it like in their bathrooms and stuff. So if I do see it at my local one, I might, might swipe it up. But it's another one out there and they didn't have that in their cart, um, in that cart on the shelf. And then they had some of the Martha Stewart glitter paper pads and all the seasonal paper pad, but I didn't want that. So that is it guys. Thanks so much for watching this haul and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and have a great week. Bye-bye.